Hey everybody, it's Paul and we are back in the kitchen today. Uh, I told you if you saw our shopping video where Shannon and I went to Costco to pick some groceries up that I would be showing you meatball sliders. Um, I want to first off thank everybody for watching all the uh, cooking videos that I've done so far. I really appreciate that. Um, I certainly appreciate all the comments and thumbs ups and suggestions. Uh, that means a lot to me. Um, today I want to do something kind of simple because, um, you know, the last meal that I did, the potato soup, that was a kind of complicated meal. So I figured uh, we'd try just a simple one today. So this is going to be just a little bit different. Um, it's not going to be cooking from scratch as much, although this recipe could certainly be done from scratch. And, um, you know, if that's something you really want to see, leave some comments and uh, we can maybe do that in another video. So let me show you what I've got. All right, we're going to be making meatball sliders tonight, and I'm going to use these frozen meatballs that we got at Costco. I'm also using King's Hawaiian Rolls. Tell me, is there anybody, I know that there's some people out there that are gluten-free, and I'm sorry for you guys, but is there anybody that can eat bread that doesn't like King's Hawaiian Rolls? They are so good. And last but not least, I have this uh, pasta sauce, uh, or tomato sauce. Um, this is a brand we've been using for a while and we really like it, but I've only ever seen it at Costco. Um, I just like the flavor of it. Shannon happened to mention, I'm going to flip the camera back around here. There we go. Um, Shannon mentioned that I've been making my own pasta sauce and yeah, I have been doing that and I'll show you that for those, the lasagna video. Sorry, I'm getting tongue tied here. I'm trying to talk too fast. Um, but just for tonight, because I want to make this like a really quick and simple kind of meal, I wanted to use the pre-made sauce. So let's go ahead and get ready. First things first, I put on my apron so that my shirt doesn't get spaghetti sauce on it because when I, whenever I make anything that uses spaghetti sauce, my shirt is a magnet for it. Um, probably some of you guys can relate. All right, I've opened my bag of meatballs up. Here's the size of them. So I think maybe two per Hawaiian roll is going to be perfect for a sandwich. So... I think the kids want three each. So it's gonna be 12. That's for them. I think Shannon's gonna have two. And I'm gonna have two. Actually, that's it's like way too big of a pot. I need my other pot. All right, I'm back. We're gonna dump all these. Sorry, that made a big noise in our pot one size down. So that's a uh, two quart sauce pan right there. I'm going to take my spaghetti sauce, shake it up just a little bit. And we're just going to pour a little bit of sauce in there. See, it's already splattering. Try and, I want to make sure none gets on the camera lens. So I'm going to add about half a jar of spaghetti sauce to my meatballs. Give them just a little shake to kind of settle them. And then I'm going to put this over a medium low heat covered and just let them simmer. Basically, these uh, meatballs are already pre-cooked. All I want to do is I want to get them heated up. Uh, we're going to finish everything off in the oven. So I'm going to set the oven to 400 degrees to preheat while these meatballs heat up. I have my meatballs on the stove. I've got my oven preheating and I was about to start preparing my rolls. Um, but I'm calling it audible here because... So these rolls are totally different sizes. I could get two meatballs on here, I think no problem, but I can only probably get one meatball on here. So I'm gonna grab a couple extra rolls um, because some of the sandwiches are gonna have, most of the sandwiches are gonna have two meatballs. Some will only have one. So just if you're copying this recipe, uh, be aware that not all these King's Hawaiian rolls, they're not uniform in size. So you may end up with some that you can only fit one meatball and like that one's only gonna fit one meatball and that's fine um that works also really well for you know smaller appetites so let's see we've got our rolls laid out we are gonna go ahead and you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna grab my knife and i'm gonna cut those so i'm gonna cut these be very careful when you're cutting that way i know that that's not necessarily the proper cutting technique i'm not cutting these all the way through because I want them to be able to be folded open or whatever. Um, I want the tops to still be attached. I don't know what this technique is called. I call it making a Pac-Man. Hello viewers, please leave a thumbs up. My little talking Hawaiian roll. 
should call him Maui. We'll have to name him. This one looks kind of funny. Rawr! Looks like a T-Rex. We've got our meatballs in the saucepan. It's getting warm in there, but those meatballs are still frozen solid. So um, don't make the mistake that I made. Give your meatballs probably about 10 or 15 minutes on the stove before you start preheating your oven. Otherwise, um, you're gonna have an oven that's heated long before your meatballs are anywhere close to being ready. Our meatballs are cooking. Our oven is preheated. Our buns are sliced. We just need to cut some cheese. So this is gonna be provolone cheese. Um, I got this at Costco, not last time we went, but the time before, which was like a week and a half ago now. Um, so I'm gonna, sl I'm gonna cut up, I have four slices of provolone and I'm just gonna quarter this and I think that's gonna be a perfect size for these sandwiches. Let's see, let's see how that looks. So that's gonna give us 16 little pieces like that. Let's take, so this is a, one of our normal sized Hawaiian rolls and it'll fit in there just like that. I think that will be perfect. Once we get that hot meatball in there, it's gonna melt right over there. And I think that's gonna be absolutely perfect. I think we're ready. Our meatballs are now off the stove. Um, the meatballs were on the stove right about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, just to kind of give you an idea of the cook time of this. We're gonna use our most important kitchen utensil here, the tongs, also one of Shannon's favorites. So we're just gonna take a couple meatballs out, put them on there, do a few more of these just so you can see them. Now I've gone ahead, I've opened up all the, uh, all the Hawaiian rolls here on my tray to make this kind of easy. Um, really, I can't think of like any part of this meal that, that wouldn't be good for, you know, for kids to help out with. Um, you know, and because, you know, you're cooking a lot of stuff that's already been prepared, um, it just makes it kind of easy, you know, pretty hard to, uh, to mess up. So yeah, we're only gonna put one meatball on those couple there. Let me do that. I'll finish the rest of those up in just a second. But just to show you what I'm gonna do, I have this grated Parmesan cheese. Go ahead and reach in there. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit on there. I'm gonna have a messy cookie sheet once I'm all done. Put that there. And the reason I'm adding this extra kind of cheese, this is shredded mozzarella, is because that provolone cheese I think is gonna be good, um, but I really want kind of like the melty, ooey gooey, you know, look and feel to these. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, this might be like way too much cheese, but we'll see. You know, maybe I'll try a couple this way and I'll try a couple the other way. And then you're just gonna top them off with your provolone cheese. Close it up. They don't close up so well with the meatball in them. There might be a trick to that, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever tried making these. Just so, just so you guys know. So we're, we're gonna see how this works. I'm learning the same as you. All right, there we go. I am going to assemble the rest of these and pop them in the oven. As you can see, they are not ready. They are not ready to pop in the oven. We're learning together here. So one thing I learned is the meatballs fit a lot more comfortably on these rolls with one meatball instead of two. So only a few of these have two meatballs on them, which means I'm gonna have some extra meatballs on the side. Also, I forgot to put a little bit of extra sauce on each one. Now, what I'm noticing is these Hawaiian rolls, I don't know how much sauce they can really take. So don't put a lot on, just a little bit, but you, de you know definitely want that extra flavor in there. That's one of the reasons why I cooked my meatballs in a little bit of sauce to warm them up is because I want this sauce to absorb some of that flavor of the meatballs. The ones that are getting two meatballs are gonna get a little bit more sauce on there. And I think I might have to just squash down the uh, the holes and kind of smash them in order to get them to close. And that's okay, because I think, I think it'll work once we pop it in the oven. I think it's gonna make like a little ooey gooey mess, which will be fun. Let's, uh, let's try 
one of these ones here up front and see. Just bend it over, squat it down. Ooh, that looks cute. Let's try another one. These are all single meatball ones up here. I'm gonna move him back off the edge. So that's one thing, you're gonna want all these away from the edge because your cheese will melt right to the edge. <laughs> Another change of plans. Since we were only able to get one meatball on a lot of the rolls, um, I decided just to use up, I had three more rolls in my pack. So I just decided just to get those out and use those up. So I, that gives me an opportunity. Um, I cut a lot of the Hawaiian rolls like this, which I told you was not the right technique to cut bread because the reason why is when you hold a roll like this and you're slicing down, easily you could cut through the roll and cut your hand. And I use very sharp knives. Um, it's a poor technique. Unfortunately, I just do that a lot. I know it's not safe. I should practice better safety. So I wanted to show you guys the proper technique. Um, number one, if you put your roll on a cutting board and you know, this one's already pre-sliced, but you can cut down like that. You can do that or better yet, lay your roll flat and cut side to side. So that way, if the knife goes through the other end, your hand is not in the way there. So that's the right way to do it. You know, point like that, that's the right way to do it. Or you know, like that, cut down like that, that's fine too. Not like that. That's actually called a bagel cut. They have a name for it in the emergency room because it happens so often. So since I've got that guy cut, let's fulfill his purpose in life by plopping a meatball on him. This Hawaiian roll happens to be a him, just so you know. You don't know how I know, because it's a king's Hawaiian roll. If it was a her, it would be a queen's. Ha ha ha. Little meatball slider humor there for you. All right, that's going on the cookie sheet with this with friends. All right, there's our tray full of meatball sliders. We're gonna pop those in the oven at 400 degrees until the cheese is melted. I'm thinking that that's only gonna take like five or six minutes. I'm just waiting for the sliders to get done in the oven. But while I wait, uh, usually I would clean right now, but I'm gonna answer a couple comments from my potato soup video from last week. So I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys like this. Um, so make sure you leave comments in this video and maybe next time I do a cook with me, I'll answer one of those comments. So Stacy H says, uh, let's see, I was gonna cry if you didn't at least add some kind of cheese into onto the soup, LOL. There is a special name for the way that you cut the bacon, but it is fancy in French. And I'm not gonna embarrass myself by attempting to say it. I wish you would have written it, Stacy H, cause I would have tried to say it. If it is fancy in French, I will try and pronounce it. <laughs> Sorry for any of my French viewers. Um, great apron too. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, and Shannon, your PS Toy Reviews fans truly appreciate all your hard work. Shannon thanks you as well. She's upstairs again right now doing videos, um, which is what she does while I cook. So that's totally cool. It's a division of labor for us. Um, but, but, but who else said something? Naomi Beery says, I just turn on the hot water and pour the fat down the drain. Oh. Uh, that was with me talking about the bacon grease. Um, I don't know if the hot water helps or not. I, obviously it works for her, but wow. Um, I've never heard that. I'm gonna have to, I'll have to ask a plumber about that if that's something you can do. Um, let's see, Katarina Luz says, love to see Paul cooking. He explains all the steps so well. Thank you, Katarina. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And let's see, one last comment because I can hear my stuff in the oven and I need to get that out, so. Jasmine Monkia, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, says homemade pizza would be great to see you guys make. All right, so we did the, the non-pizza bread. Um, that sort of counts as homemade pizza for us, but if you're looking for us to do like a homemade pizza, um, you know, making dough from scratch or maybe even buying a pre-baked pizza dough and then doing everything else, we could certainly try and do that. Uh, leave a comment on this video and just kind of clarify what you were uh, talking about with that. And we'll see if we can do it. Um, all right, yeah, I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna do it. Now we got Simon the Cat comments here, we got all kinds of stuff. So I wanna thank you guys again for all the comments. Um, please make sure you leave a comment on this video. Uh, give me suggestions, anything you wanna see me cook, um, you know, just whatever, whatever you wanna chat about and uh, we'll see if we can talk again next time I make something. Oh yeah, I can see the cheese melted in there. All right, there they are out of the oven. They look really good. Um, so, man, they look amazing. <laughs> I love the way that, that cheese melted. So they were only in the oven for about five minutes, maybe. Um, our bread is nice and crispy and toasty. Our cheese is melted. They look and smell yummy.
All right, so that's gonna do it for the meatball sliders. Shannon is here, she's holding the camera. Hi guys. Yep. I don't know if she was going to say anything or not, but now I forced her to. Yeah, I came down because I smelled something delicious. <laughs> well, and I called everybody. I said, dinner's ready. <laughs> Surprised the kids aren't down here yet. They, so, they know the camera's on, so yeah. they're hiding out. <laughs> so let's show the meatball sliders one last time. There they are. They Beautiful. look really good, but I got a mess to clean up with that pan. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something else. Somebody else wants dinner. We didn't get the two human kids, but we got the two furry kids down yeah. here. So. Ooh, fur babies there. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put these on plates and we are gonna eat. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you just like my apron, please leave that a thumbs up. <laughs> leave those comments down below and give us suggestions. Let us know what else you would like to see me try and cook um, or just what you'd like me to answer. And uh, I think that's gonna be it. Right, Chan, anything else? I think that's it. Nope, I think that's it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. We, again, could not do this without you guys. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.